with Chico. Today we have Hannah Whitaker, who's going to be teaching us how to do an accordion book. So what is an accordion book? An accordion book is a really simple book structure that just requires cutting and folding. It's kind of one of your intro book artist structures because there's a lot of other book forms that use this as a spine or as an element in part of their form. So learning how to make an accordion book really will set you off in terms of other bookmaking processes. Awesome, great. And then can it go as long as you want? Or Yeah, in bookmaking there's absolutely no limitations. Everything's completely customizable. You're welcome to make these as long or as short as you'd like. Um, one of my big projects last semester was making an accordion book and it actually wound up being 15 feet long wow. by the end of it. So it's really up to you in terms of what you want to do. Nice. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the materials that we're going to need for today's tutorial in accordion book making vary depending on whether you want to put covers on them, but for the simple structure itself, we're going to need some thick white paper, any kind of printmaking paper works, you're even welcome to use some of your handmade papers from our prior tutorial, as long as they don't feel too thin or fragile, because you will be folding these, it does need to have kind of some buoyancy to it. In addition to your paper, you're going to need a bone folder or something to make nice, even creases with, an X-Acto knife or scissors for cutting all of your paper to size, a brush for glue, either a foam brush or a nice, tough, bristled brush that you don't mind getting a little covered in adhesive, some newsprint or, news newsprint or phone books for gluing, PVA glue, which you can find at any art supply store. I do not advise using Elmer's school glue for this kind of project as it's not archival and it will flake away over time. We don't want our books to become dusty. Uh, okay, so our first step is going to be getting all of our paper to be the same size. You can pick really whatever dimensions you want for making this. Usually I make them kind of more of a large rectangular shape, but today I'm experimenting with doing something a little bit skinnier. So my dimensions are gonna be four by five inches for my sheets, but you can really choose whatever you'd like. Um, and like we mentioned before, there's no limits on how short or long you make these books. So this is really all up to your own discretion but all of your pages do need to be the same size. So what I'm going to work on now is cutting down some of our handmade paper from our previous Roll of Chico tutorial to match the sizing that I've selected. And you don't have to stress out too much about the deckled edges being exactly, exactly the same width or straight down, but you do want to make sure that they're as close in size as possible. Now that I have Janet's handmade paper cut down, we have 10 sheets. And I'm gonna move on to the second step. So we're gonna wanna fold each of these individual sheets in half, just one time. They all wanna be folded exactly in half. This is where our bone folder comes in. If you don't have this tool, that's okay. You can make do by using your thumb or the edge of a clean card, maybe like a gift card or something like that would work. It's just a nice little tool. Okay, 
Now once you've got all of your paper folded down, you want to stack it all up again and just make sure that it's looking like everything's going to line up. So it looks like some of my handmade paper got stretched out in the process of me folding it. That's okay. I have some of these bulldog clips on hand, or binder clips, some people call them differently, but they're kind of just another optional tool. I like to use them for kind of holding all of the papers together if I'm trying to make a quick trim like this. Just so you can see what I'm doing. There's a little bit of some extra length, which happened when I was folding this. I've never had that problem before, but it might be a quality of the handmade paper. So something to keep in mind, you wanna check your measurements before moving forward to gluing. I'm just gonna trim off that access length with these scissors. I'm just gonna get a little bit of water in one cup and a little bit of glue in another. For putting these folios together, you can also use Uhu glue. They make them in glue sticks and they are archival. I use them a lot for bookmaking and they're always wonderful. I just don't have any on hand at the moment, so I'm using PVA for my sheets. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm just going to be really conscious about not using very much. This is where your phone books or newsprint come in. It's kind of an old bookmaker's trick to glue on something like this and then fold the page each time you have to do a new glue so that you're not getting glue all over all of your nice paper. So glue, water. And the way that we're going to be gluing these sheets is in a zigzag method. So you have two, and you're going to glue them like this to become one. Two, a valley and a mountain, which you slide together. And that's how you're gluing. them as close and nicely together as possible. We basically want to make these two sheets feel like they're one. And you can use your bone folder, whatever kind of folding tool you're using to press out. over the news, the phone book, I keep wanting to call it newspaper. And then move on to another mountain and valley. So after gluing, I have all of my folios together. This is going to be the length of our accordion book. Some of the handmade paper intertwined. While I wait for this to set up, I will show you guys how to make some book covers. 
Okay, so for our book covers, the materials we're gonna need is a book board. This is like a heavyweight chipboard material. You can get it online or at Blick. Book cloth or some kind of fabric for covering your boards. An X-Acto knife or scissors for cutting the cloth down to size, which we've already done. I recommend an X-Acto knife or a box cutter for cutting this down as well, unless you have access to some kind of large industrial paper cutter, that's gonna be your best bet. PVA glue, a glue brush, and cups again, as well as your gluing paper. Okay, so I'll get started. Our first step is going to be to thoroughly cover our desired book board in the PVA glue. When you cut your fabric down to cover this, you wanna make sure that it has at least a quarter inch margin around the size of your book board so that it's enough to wrap over to the other edge. So I have my tub, my cover, fully coated in glue. I'm gonna turn the page of the phone book, put down my linen, and place the board centered here on my fabric. At this point, when I'm not using book cloth, if I'm using like a home fabric like I am in this case, I like to Pull it around the edges, and make sure that it's gonna be nice and tight on the cover. Keeping pressure on that, I'm gonna come back with more PVA glue for the edges. As I glue, I'm gonna fold over the fabric on the margin really tight. Repeating that on all four edges. It's okay if you have a little access glue, if it looks a little messy on this folded side. It's gonna be covered by your inside sheet. When it comes to folding your corners, you can either cut a V-shape out of it or fold the edges in and then up, almost like you're wrapping a Christmas present. And any access glue, I just rub over the edges of the fabric, make sure it's really nice and glued down there. We want these to be permanent fixtures. It's the last edge. So that is the front of our little linen covered cover. The inside, I know it looks a little ugly, but for this particular structure, we glue the very front right here. And otherwise you would always put some kind of inside paper that would cover this regardless. But that's how you do book covers and that's how you do book covers in the most basic form for any kind of book structure that you're going to do. That was an example for you guys, and now these are the ones that we're gonna use for our actual structure today. Okay, so once you have a front and back cover of your book boards made, 
we're gonna glue our accordion book in there. Last step. So for this process, you're gonna want your entire inside, your all of your pages that are already glued together, both covers, and all of your gluing materials. So the glue brush, your paper, all of it. Now put a nice thick coating of PVA on the back of your cover. We don't want to go crazy in glue, but we don't want to be too frivolous. You put your first sheet right down on top of that cover. I use my bone folder to kind of press it in there nice. Any excess glue, I'm gonna wipe off the bone folder so I don't get everything all sticky and dirty. That's what our aprons are for. And then you're gonna repeat that for your secondary cover. And now while these dry, we wanna let them settle under some pressure. This helps to make it all kind of solidify. So if you have some bricks, you can put it under, something like that. Otherwise, hand clamping and just putting some physical pressure on it with your body is just fine. Okay. And so after you've pressed it, you're gonna have your nice little accordion book made in whatever dimensions and size you want. You can use varying paper like I did. We used a bunch of different kinds of handmade papers. If you're gonna mix paper, you have to acknowledge that they might have different qualities. Some might absorb glue differently than others, but just be patient, it should work out. I hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching.